श्री गणेशा नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम श्रीराम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम 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 जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम ओ रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेधसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताया पत नम ओ श्रीरामचंद्राय नम अतुलबलधाम हेमशैलाभदेह दनुजवनकृशाग्रगण्यम सकलगुण निधान वानराधीश रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वात जातन्नमा रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वात जातन्नमा ओं श्री हनुमते नम ओ ध्यामी चिन्मयानंद गुरदेव महामति प्रेम पूर्ण क्रियाशील सदा लोकहितेरत कृपालु सुंदराकार समर्थम सत्यदर्शिन वाचा तत्व प्रकाशिन्या शोक मोह विनाशिन ओ श्री चिन्मय सद्गुरव नम नम श्री तुसीदास सदरिष्टा धीमते पूरी हृदय ये राम प्रेमामृते नमे ओ श्री तुसीदाय नम हरि ओम अ वेरी वाम वेलकम जनक महाराज हैड ब्रॉट विश्वामित्र जी रामचंद्र जी लक्ष्मण जी टू दी पैलेस अट मिथिला नगरी एंड दे वेर गिवन अ प्रॉपर प्लेस टू स्टे अप्रोप्रिएट प्लेस टू स्टे ऋषय संग रघुवंश मुनि करी भोजन विश्राम वी वसिंग यस्टडे दे ऑल हैड लंच एंड देन दे हैड अ रेस्ट वी ऑल्सो टॉक्ट अबाउट दी रेस्ट यस्टडे बैठे प्रभु भ्राता सहित दिवसुरहा भरी जामू देर वॉज वन पार्ट वन थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द डे विच वॉज अवेलेबल हैविंग कम बैक टू दी रेस्पेक्टिव चेम्बर्स they were resting and uh, prabhu 
Ramchandra ji, Bhrata Sahita Baite. He sat with Lakshman ji and was chatting a little. This is where we concluded yesterday. We also chanted the sect 218th Chaupai. We will again chant and then look into it. And uh, first we will chant. Then I will see the me. I will uh, uh, go through the meaning of the uh, Chaupai and Doha, and then we will <coughs> see into the most important aspect that all of us should learn from this particular Chaupai. We will chant. Lakhan hridaya lala sabi seshi jai janaka pura aai ya dekhi prabhu bhaya bahuri muni hi suk saku chahi pragatana kahi manahi musukahi राम अनुज मन की गति जानी भगत बचलता ही अहुल सानी परम बिनीत सकुचि मुसुकाई बोले गुर अनुसासन पाई नाथ लखनु पुरु देखन चहही प्रभु सकोच डर प्रगटन कहही जौराउर आय सुमय पावं नगर देखाई तुरत ले आवं सुनी मुनी सुकह बचनु सप्रीति कसन राम तुम राख हुनीति धर्म से तु पालक तुम ताता प्रेम बिबस सेवक सुख दाता जाई देखी आवहु नगरु सुख निधान दो भाई करहु सफल सब के नयन सुंदर बदन देखाई सियावर राम चंद्र की जै पवन सुत हनुमान की जै उमापति महादेव की जै बोलो भय सब संतन की जै सदगुरु नाथ महाराज की जै इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल चौपाई वी सी four important lessons four important sections and four important communication all right first is a silent communication by lakshman ji to ramchandra ji the second ramchandra ji's communication to lakshman ji third ramchandra ji's communication to acharya vishwamitra ji and fourth vishwamitra ji's communication to ramchandra ji these four are the most important aspect in this chaupai so how communication needs to be done and what should be the truth behind what should be the attitude behind what should be the discipline behind Hmm? we will see one by one we will see now the first communication is lakshman ji's silent communication i underlined the word silent he did not express to his brother but look at look at that lakhan hridaya lalasa biseshi when janaka maharaj brought them from the mango grove to the palace in road naturally you sit you can't close your eyes and sit so you just generally see but you can't say anything while they were bringing so you uh, ramchandra lakshman ji generally they saw and then they were taken lakshman ji had a lalasa lalasa means what a desire a very important desire hmm? लखन हृदय इन दि हार्ट ऑफ लक्ष्मण लाल साशेषि जाई जनक आई देखी ही वॉन्टेड टू गो टू दि 
city of Janakpuri, that is the current uh, Janakpuri, which was Mithilanagari at that time. Hmm? Jai Janakapura, at that time also it was called Janakpura only because he was the ruler. But basically it, is, it was called Mithilanagari by and large. He thought, let us go to the city, downtown, hmm? and see the city life. He thought. But this, this, this thought did not come to Ramchandraji. That is very important. Ramchandraji did not get this thought, but Lakshmanji got this thought, but he did not express. Why? Prabhu bhaya bahuri munahi munihi sakuchai. Prabhu bhaya, out of fear for the brother. See, those days, this culture of respect, reverence, discipline, a kind of fear. See, fear here does not mean that uh, Lakshmana had done something wrong, therefore he is afraid of. No. It is a bhavana. It is a very interesting bhavana. Actually, it is reverence. Though it is turned Prabhu Bhaya, it is a matter of reverence. Out of reverence to Bhagavan Ramchandraji, Bahuri Munihi Sakuchai. Bahuri and greater this one is Munihi Sakuchai. He was a little hesitant to ask Vishwamitraji. Therefore, he had that desire. That desire was seen in the eyes as though and pragatana kahahi munahi musukai. He could not pragatana karai. He did not express it, but he gave that interesting smile. We also, our children also come to uh, the parents, isn't it? They come with some kind of motive and then they, the eyes will declare that kuch kuch hai. Isn't it? So, uh, the eyes will declare pragatana kahahi Manahi Musukai. He did not express his mind. But he gave that smile which was, you know, very, what do you call it? Expressive smile. Hmm? Very interesting and expressive smile. But after all, you know, Bhagavan is Bhagavan. Rama Anuja Manaki Gati Jani. Bhagavan Sri Ramchandraji, Anuja Mana. Brother's mind ki gati jani. He understood the path of the mind of his brother. In fact, when we have absolute love towards our siblings or anybody for that matter, that love, unconditional love, pure love actually, which is actually not very seen in our day-to-day -day life, but that pure love will make you guess what is there in the uh, mind of the other. And Bhagavan Ramchandra Ji, he is after all Bhagavan. Naturally, he will come to know. Rama Anujamana ki gati jani. He understood the mind pattern of his brother uh, Lakshmanji. Bhagata bachalata bhakti. Vatsalyata. This is what is the word. Bachalata is Vatsalyata actually. Bhakta Vatsalyata. Bhagata Bachalata. He ahulasani. His heart overflowed with so much of love, joy. For, you know, that beautiful bhavana. In fact, we find in our surroundings this Pure love is very, very much lacking. We may like somebody, we may love somebody, no doubt. But that intimate love is not there. Therefore, most often we will find we don't understand the other person or the other person is also not able to understand. Therefore, there is differences of opinion and it always ends up in agitation, clashes, friction, ityadi. When there is pure love, that frequency of the mind with the other person will make us understand the thought flow in the other person. And Bhagavan Sri Ramchandraji 
was so much in love with Lakshmana, Bharata and Shatrugna also, of course. But look at that, Bharata just got up, he left his wife also, newly married couple. In case of uh, Ramchandra and Sita ji came along with her in the, uh, uh, this one. But Lakshman ji, during that period when he was after marriage, when he had to go with Ramchandra ji for uh, uh, Vanavasa, he just everything and went to Vanavasa. You think these days brothers will do that? That is the intimacy. That is the pure, unconditional, unquestionable love. Between Ramchandra ji and Lakshman ji with Janaka Maharaja intimated, isn't it? Indicated rather, isn't it? Bhagata bachalata hi ahulasani. His heart was overfilled with joy, with love. Hmm? Looking at Lakshmana's desire at the same time his discipline. Think. And uh, one more thing is, that desire what Lakshmanji had is not an illegitimate desire. It is not a wrong desire. Is it not? It is a desire, it is a common desire every, uh, everybody can have. Normally they say, Sevaks should not have their own desire. Whatever is a wish of the Swami, that should be the wish of the Sevaka. This is Shastra Sampradaya. But for all you know, mind. Mind can have. Or rather, mind brings in such desires. How much you entertain again depends. The intensity of the desire. But then mind, it desires. Parama Binita Sakuchi Musukai Musukai, again, Bhagavan Ramchandra ji smiled at the Vinamrata of Lakshmanji. Therefore, he thought he should take the permission of Vishwamitra ji, hmm, under whom they are now uh, coming. So, he thought he should take the permission from the Guru, the preceptor. Bole Guru Pai. He said, yes, we will go. But we will go to Guru. Vishwamitra ji, and take his permission and I am sure he will give, there is nothing wrong in this. We, we, he will give the permission, we will go. Uh, once he permits, then we, uh, we can go and come back. I will go and take permission from him, you don't have to worry much. I will speak to Vishwamitra ji. Lakshman ji was a little relieved. But of course, one corner of the heart, it was there. What if the Guru denies? The moment you have a desire, Desire comes along with a tinge of fear. Remember this. When you have a desire, desire comes with always comes with a tinge of fear of not achieving the desire, not achieving that goal. Bole Gura I will go. Then he said. He went to Vishwamitraji. Natha lakhanu puru dekhana chahi. Hey Natha, my Lord, hey Guru, lakhanu, Lakshmana, puru dekhana chahi. He wants to see the city. Prabhu sa kocha dara bhagat pragatana kahi. Prabhu sa kocha, out of fear, or hesitation and respect. One is fear, that is reverence only, and hesitation, born out of what? Respect and reverence. Prabhu Sakocha Dara Pragatana Kahahi. Because of that fear, he is not expressing it outside. Jauravura Ayasume Pavam. If Jau Raura Ayasu, if you are if you permit me to do this, if I secure, if I receive your permission, Pavau, if I receive your permission, I will take Lakshmana 
to the city. Nagar dekhai tu rat le avau. I will show him the city and bring him back. Now please note this very beautiful line. Nagar dekhai tu rat le avau. I will show him the city and bring him back. Ram Chandra ji also is going to the city for the first time. He was not living there. But the responsibility of an elder brother and the joy of protection of the younger brother with the permission of the guru shows the culture which was prevalent at that time. Nagara dekhai turat me lay avo. I will quickly bring him back if you permit me so. Suni muni sukaha bachanu sapriti. Suni, listening to this, Muni su kaha, Muni su, e, Muni nam ishaha, that is the chief of sages, meaning what? A very, very advanced uh, sage, Muni, a highly reputed sage, Vishwamitra ji, kaha bachana sapriti, he now spoke with lots of Love, sapriti, with, with lots of love he replied. Kasan Rama tumara khauniti. Hey Rama. It is, isn't it a wonder? Tumara khauniti. Is it, is, it, is it a wonder that you will, uh, uh, you know, act according to dharma? You are the very embodiment of dharma. Therefore, knowing that you will not get into wrong ways, knowing that you will follow dharma, it is very uh, interesting that you are asking me permission. We will see about it a little more. Dharma se tu palaka tu matata he tata my dear son at that time, Ramchandra ji is small. Uh, Vishwamitra ji is very, um, very elderly. So he can call him as Tata, my son. Dharma Setu Palaka. Who are you? You are the protector of the bridge that takes people towards Dharma. Meaning, the protector of Dharma itself. What do you mean by saying protector of dharma? Protector of dharma is abidance in dharma. Dharmo rakshati rakshitaha when it is said, the one who protects dharma, dharma will protect him, is the statement. What do you mean by protection of dharma? Do you have some uh, soldiers who say, stay here, no, I am going to protect dharma. No. Following the principles of dharma and abidance in dharma, implementation of the dharma that is being taught in every moment, at every moment of life is protection of dharma and that protector of dharma, dharma will protect him. And Vishwamitra ji says, Dharma Setu, you yourself are the protector of Dharma and Prema Bibasa Sevaka Sukhadata. You are what? You are one Prema Bibasa Sukhadata Sevaka. You are the one who is a delighter, who brings joy, happiness, bliss, ecstasy to all your servants. Hmm? One who have love for you. Now, when you are there, you are asking me. Anyway, he understands. See, very important. Ramchandra ji is following Shishya Dharma here very clearly. And that Vishwamitra ji understands. The Doha says, Jai Dekhiya Vahunagaru Sukhanidan do bhai. Do bhai, both the brothers, who are blissful pair. 
Sukhanidana. Meaning what? You are embodiment of joy and embodiment of love. Hmm? You, go. Jai Deki Avahunagaru. You go and see the city and come back. And then he adds a line. Look at that beautiful line. Karahu Supala Sabake Nayana Sundara Badana Dikai. Karahu Supala. Hmm? Sabke Nayana. Nayana eyes. Go and bring fulfillment. To all the Nagaravasi's eyes. We will, we will see about this again. Now, after the conclusion of this Doha. Sundara Badana Dekhai. Let the people of Janakpuri. Let their eyes be fulfilled by the darshana of both of you. How beautiful, isn't it? Now see, first, Lakshmana's communication to Rama, silent communication. Then Ramchandraji's acceptance that he has understood what was there in Lakshmana's mind and he goes to the Guru and communicates to the Guru what is Lakshmanji's desire. And Guru's permission with these beautiful words, we will now see a little in detail. In the last two lines of the Doha, Karahu Saphala Sabake Nayana. Please fulfill the purpose of the eyes. The purpose of the eyes really for human beings is to see Bhagavan. The ears, the purpose is to listen to Bhagavan. In the Hanuman Chalisa, Kanana Kundala Kunchita Kesa, it is said, Kanana Kundala, that Kundala represents Namasmarana of Bhagavan. Therefore, he is wearing that Namasmarana, that Kundala, to indicate, I want to listen to the glory of Bhagavan alone. Think. You, when you go to the Nagara, hey Rama, the eyes of the Sevakas, the eyes of the people, Nagara, their purpose of the eyes is fulfilled. See how the vision of the Guru is. Vishwamitra ji knows Bhagavan, uh, Ramchandra is nothing but Bhagavan, he, know, he knows very well. And then he says, Sundara Badhan Dekai, looking at your beautiful, charming uh, Vadana, your form, their eyes be fulfilled. Now, how many of us? Hardly. Hardly, isn't it? Exception sustained, because there are people even today in the deep uh, areas who are. No other expectation but being with Bhagavan. Now, it has become a way of life all the time watching TV, seeing the mobile, you know, passing the, you know, scrolling the reels, watching YouTubes and so many other uh, uh, programs are all uh, there which you want to see. Everything is other than Bhagavan. Think. Even if you some, uh, see something related to the Bhagavan aspects of life, spiritual aspects of life, you will find that there is that bhakti is much less. People come to so many functions of the ashram. With love they come, with care, devotion, all that is there. But once they come there and then mingle with everything, they feel so happy looking at all other people, other devotees. Oh, how are you? Oh, I did not see you for a long time. Where were you? The mind gets distracted. That distraction of the mind continues even during the satsang. Please note. Think. While the satsang is going on, if you see somebody 
my eyes if i see somebody whom i know and i have not uh, uh, communicated to him ah he meet such is going on after the class i should meet him i have to speak to him he had a son who was studying in the um, you know in in a foreign country he was studying his uh, um, engineering his masters i should i should find out what such is going on still my mind is roaming around even though bhagavan beautifully alankara has been done even in front of bhagavan our mind slips that is why a beautiful example was given when you go to tirupati you stay in a, now these days digital uh, uh, technology has brought lot of uh, changes but there were days all of you will know those of you who are uh, listening to this will know so many, i remember when my ch- in my childhood we went to uh, tirupati and there were so many cabins i mean uh, par- uh, partitions hmm? in the train compartments compartments so many compartments one you have to go here and then go in that compartment there are a lot of chairs and then you the chairs will go like that like that like that and next lead to the next compartment again from the next compartment again you go to the end row and then go like like 12 13 compartment in 2 3 days sometimes people have stayed during very uh, important functions and then you go finally you reach the garbhagraha in the garbhagraha when you just enter the temple when you went into the garbhagraha what you listen to in a loud voice is not that japa mantra etc etc jargandi 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 move 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 keep going keep going keep. because people stay there looking at seeing the beautiful uh, alankara and uh, roop of bhagavan people so jargandi 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 years cannot hear anything that is being played there also jargandi 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 with all that you go there so much of rush and pushing people pushing you you go near that this one and when you go there when you have that opportunity after such a long travel and uh, compartmentalized queue and then now you are almost entering when you go and see when you step on that step in front of the garbhagraha there you can see the bhagavan completely the, instead of seeing the bhagavan what do we do we close the eyes govindo govinda you close the eyes think purpose was to see bhagavan you close the eyes why do you close the eyes there you see, having taken the darshan of bhagavan you want to save that darshana in the hard disk of the heart think now that particular moment when you see that bhagavan what a bliss is it not this is the purpose of the eyes however as life would throw us all challenges we are totally as we go astray from the purpose of our organs also and lakshmana's desire next very important was he lakshmana was not extroverted he was not that kind of a brother extrovert desires full of desire see that eat that see here. no 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 lakshmana's intention of wanting rama to come along with him to the city is so that the city the people in the city can see bhagavan ramachandra ji this is a way called a bhakta vatsalya hmm? he wants the janakpuri devotees to have darshan of bhagavan and their eyes to be fulfilled that is the purpose of lakshman ji is asking however even though uh, ramachandra ji has given darshan to lot of people hmm? lot of uh, even devatas have seen ramachandra ji asuras have ramachandra have seen ramachandra ji uh, of course the family people in uh, ayodhya have seen uh, have seen the ram uh, have seen ramachandra ji they are with we all are with so many such great people but many times we don't recognize the presence also but however the form of ram and lakshmana was so supreme in nature 
anybody would get attracted and lakshmana wanted the people of janakpuri to see ramchandra ji and get attracted to this bhagavan though he may not know that he is bhagavan internally he knows that's a different issue in the avatar human avatar to uh, look at it from that sand point he had so much of reverence he want bhagavan to be seen by everybody now when you say bhakta vatsalata bhakta vatsalya two things are very important one our love towards bhagavan extremely important and two second one bhagavan also must have love towards bhakta and in the second one bhagavan's love is eternal to everybody no partiality no gradations no difference in its depth bhagavan is eternally he loves his praja hmm? that is all of us bhagavan's grace and blessings are also equally important and to obtain to gain to receive that grace and blessings of bhagavan we must come to deserve i always quote this puja gurudev swami chinmayananda ji would say you may never get what you desire but you can never escape from what you deserve so what we require to do is come to deserve the grace and blessings of bhagavan through how um, how do we do that through our own dharmika vyavahara right and we see ramchandra ji and lakshman ji were embodiment of dharma and now when ramchandra ji said uh, i will take him and bring him back see the elder brother thinks of the younger brother and he cares for his younger brother and he wants to take care protect him hmm? that is a very very important feature like plants you you might have seen in all, all the um, you know uh, parks garden etc some small plants they would have planted and they would put a fence around it when you put a fence around it why do you put that you have to protect that small plant you protect that small plant from what from some uh, stray uh, sheep or etc or some stray dogs also pull out and throw it away or why what to talk of human being my god sometimes you feel are they really human beings do they really exercise intelligence think when they go to the park they sit down in the lawn and go on pulling that uh, grass so so much of pains taking you know it it really takes lot of pain to grow a beautiful lawn and then you know maintain it properly there is a gardener who has been employed and he puts a sweat and toil to maintain for our sake is it not and then you go there you distract by plucking grass pulling this one and some people they get so excited and uh, oh, you know like uh, somehow someone who has got a fits when they see the flowers they want to go and pluck all the flowers even road side they will go on the road walking they will go they will go with a plastic cover i have i've heard about i've seen also in one or two cases they go with the early morning walk they go with a plastic cover and en route wherever there are flowers they will pluck all that and then put it in the plastic cover and bring think destructive mood when it is young it has to be protected and once it is protect, protected and the, the same plant grows like a tree now the tree protects the people from rain from sun i mean we sun sun rays hot season summer season that plant which you have protected now will protect you therefore at the young age it has to be protected the responsibility of ramchandra ji to protect his younger brother 
think. This is called Vatsalyata. Love. Bhratra Dharma. Another very important word I would take it. Bhratra Dharma. Taking care of the younger. A responsibility. The children, the youth have to be protected. They cannot be left like that. Now we see in modern era, they, they also, I want my space. Meaning what? I want freedom. I don't want to be protected. And finally what happens? They lose their morality. They lose the culture of our beautiful Bhumi. They lose sense. As it was always said, common sense is an uncommon commodity in the community. Meaning what? They don't use their proper sense. Because they were not protected, they were not raised with lot of culture, discipline, responsibility. All these must come from the childhood. Catch them young. Gurudev would say. Catch them young in meaning what? At the time of childhood, youthhood, their mind is clean. The slate is very clean. You can write all that which is good. You should write. Meaning what? Guide them properly. Give them a right direction for using their mind and intelligence. It's a responsibility which not only the siblings, the elder siblings, the parents, grandparents should take. Everybody is important to play their role rightly. Think. Right? Now that is one thing. You will see what is the what is the way one should behave when they are children, when they are youth? Acharaha paramo dharma for youngsters. Achara meaning what? Obedience. Here acharaha takes the form of obedience. Whatever the elders, parents, everybody say, just obey. Why should I just obey? This is a question we ask. Because we do not have the experience. They have the experience. Out of experience when they speak, we, out of our irresponsible, desire-filled mind, we brush them aside. We neglect those statements. And when the mind is not thus habituated to proper way of thinking, such a mind goes astray and such a mind can becomes so difficult to rectify the errors, to rectify the habits. Therefore, from the childhood, the mind should be brought properly, brought up properly. It should be given the right direction of thinking. Even if it matters, for a harsh way of dealing, doesn't matter. A father and a mother sometimes beat the children, not out of hatred, to tame the irresponsible mind. Therefore, taking responsibility at all levels is extremely important. And here, by Ram Chandraji taking permission to take care of his brother, he has expressed that he is responsible, he has that in his mind and he will take care of Lakshmana and therefore you need not worry, I will take care of my brother, please give me permission. Right? Now, think about this. Lakshmanji out of reverence to his brother, uh, correct, towards Ramchandraji, out of reverence to his teacher, and right now they are shishyas of Vishwamitraji. So immediately Vishwamitraji is an immediate guru. So reverence to the guru. Whatever guru says, obey. This should be the life of children and youth. Especially teenagers. I underline. Especially teenagers. 
think the teenagers at the time when they have gained that particular phase of independent thinking that is the time they have to be protected how like the plant you have just probably put a seed or maybe a small plant you have uh, planted there you protect meaning what let not only other things come and eat let the plant also grow within that you know frame and properly let it grow that is a meaning so that fence is what that fence is nothing but discipline another word which people don't like is self control our acharya param pujya swami chidanand ji would always say what is self control self self control is not self denial please be very clear about these two words self control does not mean self denial self control means self restraint this is what we see in lakshmana think out of that beautiful upcoming reverence to the elder brother reverence to the guru this up bringing of lakshmana brings in such wonderful culture he does not ah, i want to go no 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 think now see brother elder brother takes responsibility the younger brother also becomes responsible being under the governance of the elders similarly the children the teenagers the youth at that particular age have no experience therefore obedience in spite of certain desires that may arise the obedience will keep it in keep it in the right track there is so much to learn from this chopai again we will see or rather we will continue tomorrow all right Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Sat Guru Nath Maharaj Ki Jai